V29.10 Mechanical Mayhem is here. Get your tinkering skills ready. The Road to Mechanical Mayhem opens up March 26th. Mechanical Mayhem introduces three vehicle builds with their own way of taking you place to place. There are also new ways to make a custom vehicle. More on that in a bit. So the first one we have is the speeder. This is kind of like a little quad. Um, you will unlock the recipe by adding a new power cell to your inventory. The next one is the off-roader. This one is perfect for, you know, bringing your friends with you. You can unlock the recipe for this by adding flexwood to your inventory. The last one is going to be a hauler. Now this one is going to be doing the heavy lifting. There's plenty of room in the trunk here. You can unlock the recipe for the hauler by adding frost pine to your inventory. How to make these vehicle builds? Well, when you unlock the recipe for the vehicle build, you can create it from the build section of the build menu. If you're the kind of person who throws away instructions before reading them, you can do things your own way using the vehicle parts in the toy section. You'll need some specific toys if you want to class your creations as vehicles. Firstly, you will need the power center. That is the engine of the vehicle. You can see them here. And you will need to load these power centers up with power cells. Um, the more power cells you load up, the longer you can drive for. Think of these as the engine. The power cells are the gasoline. All right, you will also need wheels. Now we have two types of wheels. We have turnable wheels, which means that you can turn the vehicle. If we have powered wheels, they simply propel the vehicle forward. You cannot turn it. Obviously you will need seats. You'll need a driver's seat, AKA steering wheel. So this is gonna be the driver's seat uh, to control and drive your vehicle. You can place some extra seats to take your friends on road trips as well. Now, how we power these vehicles. Uh, Lego Fortnite operates on eco-friendly fuel policy. <laughs> so we're gonna be recycling uh, with the compost bin here. It says, throw, uh, why throw your items away when you can put them to good use? The compost bin is a new station that turns resources into biomass, fertilizer, or soil. Uh, the number and rarity of what it spits out will depend on what you put in, but you'll need to create biomass to unlock the power cell recipe. So going back up here, I know we've got a lot of new items and maybe new stuff we've never heard before. Power center, that's the engine. Power cell is the gasoline. And the biomass is what's going to allow us to create the power cells. What are the ingredients for power cells? Glass. And you can find glass from bandit caps around your world. Caps? Camps? You can also just dig up sand and smelt it in a smelter. And they've added a wrench. So it seems that the wrench is going to allow you to control as many thrusters as you'd like using three separate switches rather than having one switch control everything. You can unlock the recipe for the wrench by adding a wooden rod to your inventory. They've also added some sort of new light source called the illuminator which will add an aura of light to your world in dark areas not sure what difference is between this and the regular lights we already have um so we'll have to see what what this really does you can unlock the recipe for this by adding a thermal fish to your inventory and having a crafting bench in your world which i'm sure we all do if you don't time to get a crafting bench <laughs> Uh, apparently we have jewels, comet, and lynx, which will help with vehicles. We've also got some new villager potentials and sweet and sort of spicy treats. We have the option to unlock ice cream, snowberry ice cream, and spicy ice cream if you add snow to your inventory and have a juicer in your world. Snow, I'm assuming, is going to be similar to how we get sand, but just in the snowy biomes. But I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. They've also got a, uh, a decent amount of gameplay improvements. And we also have a ton of skins getting new Lego styles. I'm gonna just scroll through this list so you guys can kind of see there are an absolute metric ton of skins that they've added Lego Fortnite styles to. We type this list on a Friday, forgive any typos. <laughs> okay. So it appears that we are definitely getting our vehicles from V29.10. So hopefully if any of you guys uh, stopped playing because you didn't like not being able to transport around, well, 
fear not, now you're able to. You can use a quad, an ATV, a big old tractor, truck, whatever. Tons of options here for you guys. So uh, I hope that you will enjoy it and check out this update when it comes out tomorrow. But that's going to do it for today. If you enjoy this type of content, make sure to hit the subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!